if you are the kind of person who has ever thought, man, I wish I could take XYZ supplement, but pay more for it, and maybe even get recruited to convince other people to pay more for their supplements. I've said this before, what are you doing here? This is not the right place for you. Nobody asked me, but I set aside some time to review all nine of Brave and Lee's products. And if you were thinking about getting any of these, you may reconsider after this video. If you don't know, Brave and Lee is a newish multi-level marketing company in the healthy lifestyle niche. And this video is one of three videos that I made about Bravenly. If you wanna check out the brief overview I made about Bravenly, you can click on the title card that is gonna be popping up in your screen right about now. I did not buy the Bravenly products. I looked at the website, the description, the benefits they purport to offer, and more importantly, the ingredients on the nutrition labels to find alternatives that had the same or similar benefits with sometimes the same ingredients at a fraction of the cost. So the good news is, in this video, you're not gonna to have to see my face as much because we're gonna to switch to my computer in a second. But before we do that, a disclaimer. I am not a nutritionist and I don't have any training in nutrition or healthcare. Nothing I say in this video should be taken as an endorsement or recommendation of any of these products, Bravenly or otherwise. You should always talk to your doctor before you take any supplements. What I do know as a consumer is that the supplements industry is regulated by the FDA as food and not as medicine. So the regulations are way more relaxed. And this leads to the market being flooded with products that most people don't really need and whose benefits are the same as those you could get from more natural sources like vegetables and fruits and just whole food. And that is why I'm not an affiliate of any of the companies that I'm going to mention. Uh, there will not be any affiliate links in the description of this video. This is just for informational purposes. But I'm not here to tell you what to do. If you are adamant about using supplements and we're thinking about maybe buying Bravenly supplements, let's look at Bravenly's products and see how they fare against the alternatives. If you want to save some time and don't want to listen to me speak, I don't blame you. Uh, here's a spoiler. In my opinion, Bravenly does not offer anything you couldn't get from a different source at a much lower cost without having to get involved with an MLM company. If you are here for the long haul, then there will be timestamps in the description of the video if you want to check out a particular product, but I am ready when you are, let's go. And the first product we're gonna be looking at is Brave and Lee Balance. This one was the most difficult one to compare because it has too many blends. So what I did is I looked at the metrics, you know, the calories, the content uh, of each one of the blends, like the ingredients themselves, to try and find some good alternatives. The first one that I found is from Barleen's Organic Greens. It comes in with twice as many calories as Brave and Lee's, and it also has only four blends instead of nine, but it has a high grammage on their blends, so arguably there are good nutrients in each one of the blends, even though it has fewer. It also has a vitamin C and protein, it comes in with the same uh, amount of servings at 30 and it comes in at a price of less than half at $45 versus $99. The second alternative is from Gaspari Nutrition and it's called Proven Greens and Reds. It has also fewer blends than Raven Lee's, but it still maintains a high grammage on their blends. It also has fewer calories and a larger serving size. It also has 30 servings, but it comes in at less than half the price at $40 versus $99. If you are of the school of thought that more is better and you just want more blends, regardless of the grammage or the content of each one of the blends, then we can look at Paradise Greens. It comes in with 11 blends. It only has seven more calories than Raven Lee. It also includes vitamins A, vitamin C, calcium, and protein. And it has twice the amount of servings at 60 servings while still coming in at 40 dollars versus 99 dollars the next product we have on the list is bravely boost brew it advertises this coffee that also has nutrients and other energy sources the recommendations that i'll be making for this product are not going to be coffee substitutes because there are a thousand and one substitutes for coffee out there and bravely knows this which is why their marketing approach is why settle for regular coffee when there are other options with more nutrients out there. So I'm going to be focusing on the nutrients, which in this case come from a blend of mushrooms that Ravenly has included in their product. The first alternative is SM Nutrition's 10 Mushroom Blend. It has, like the name says, 10 different mushrooms. It includes those in the Bravenly product, but it has three times the amount of servings that Bravenly's product has at 45 servings versus 15 servings. And it comes in at almost half the price at $22 versus $40. The second alternative is from Purely Optimal, and it is called a Purely Optimal Mushroom Complex. It has a higher grammage of mushrooms, including most of those in the Bravenly blend. It has twice the amount of servings at 30 versus 15, and it comes in at exactly half the cost at $20 versus $40. The benefits of having these supplements in this form as opposed to Ravenly's coffee is that you can continue to drink whatever coffee you already drink and have these mushroom benefits if that's what you're looking for without any additional calories and at a very low cost. The next product is Ravenly Gold. It advertises as a product designed to crush your hunger cravings, boost fat loss, and support a healthy defensive immunity. Immunity to what? And support a healthy defensive immunity. 
to everything. The main thing is that this product has uh, appetite suppressants. Most of the ingredients in this product are appetite suppressants, and that's why they're saying it's supposed to crush your hunger cravings. The first alternative here is from a company called Angry Supplements. It has more of these appetite suppressant ingredients than Ravenly does. It has the same 30 servings, but it comes in at $13 versus $70. So Ravenly's is more than five times more expensive and has fewer of the appetite suppressant benefits. The second alternative is from a company called Newton Everett. It has the appetite suppressant ingredients plus some caffeine, so a little bit of energy, arguably. It has the same 30 servings that Ravenly does, but it comes in at $18 versus $70. The third alternative is for people who are more on the serious fitness side of things, and this is from Muscle Tech. It is the Black Onyx Garcinia Plus, and Garcinia is one of these appetite suppressant ingredients. So what Muscle Tech offers is what they call an extreme blend of uh, their appetite suppressant, which is a lot of this Garcinia ingredients, plus what they call a weight loss blend as well. It comes in with 30 servings too, and even though it is a little bit more expensive at $40, it is still almost half the price of Ravenly's, which costs $70. The next product is Ravenly Burn. It advertises as a product that supports your health journey. And if you want it to get more ambiguous, it says, there are so many ingredients in this product. Okay, but they're focusing on the Gymnema Silvestri, and they're saying how there's studies that indicate that it may decrease the appeal of sweet foods. I don't know about using studies plural because I found two studies in the National Library of Medicine, but both studies are from the same group of authors, some doctors in India, so really it's just the one source. And there are some claims that Gymnema Silvestri affects a sweet food cravings in one or two ways. The first one is that it's supposed to affect the way your body absorbs sugar, which to me is a little bit of a red flag and I wouldn't want to take it without talking to a doctor because then that means it could affect the way your body regulates your insulin levels and that is not something you want to play with without knowing what you're doing. The second way it affects these uh, sweet food cravings is by altering the way Way your taste buds perceive the sweetness of certain foods is supposed to make them taste less sweet and therefore less appealing. WebMD claims that there's no good scientific evidence that uh, Gymnema Sylvester has these benefits. And I know WebMD is probably not the most reliable source, but when it comes to scientifically reliable sources, there's not that many out there that talk about Gymnema Sylvester. Fundamentally, this product is making the case for blood sugar control. And the first alternative that I have is from a company called Anti-Aging Institute of California. It has the same ingredients as Ravenly's and it comes in at $36 versus $50. So this is where it gets a little tricky. The alternative has 60 capsules, but it can considers two capsules to be one serving, and it recommends one serving a day. So you essentially have 30 days worth of capsules. Ravenly has 60 capsules as well, but it considers one serving to be one capsule. So you theoretically would have 60 days worth of capsules, but the website recommends that you take two capsules a day. So technically it is the same amount of days for both products. But if you go with the alternative, you're taking one serving a day versus two servings a day if you're taking Ravenly. So there could be an argument that you are essentially taking half the benefits if you go with the alternative and you're not really saving that much money. And that is fair. So let's look at the other alternatives. The second alternative is from a company called Beyond Human. It has almost exactly the same ingredients as Ravenly does with the exceptions that I'm pointing out in the screen. And it also considers one capsule, one serving just as Ravenly does. But the price is less than half at $20 versus $50. And the third alternative is from Pure Premium Supplements. It has exactly the same ingredients down to the grammage it considers one capsule, one serving the same way Bravenly does. And like Bravenly, it also recommends taking between one and three capsules a day, but it comes in at less than $17 versus Bravenly's $50. And the next product is Bravenly Rush. It advertises as a product that provides energy and focus. The first alternative comes from a company called Genius Pre. It has some of the same ingredients meant to provide you with that energy boost. It has fewer servings than Bravenly's. It comes in at 20 servings versus 28, but it does come at a lower price at $38 versus $75, which means that each serving is $1.90 versus Bravenly's $2.00 and 68 cents. The second alternative is from Purely Optimal. It has some ingredients that are supposed to give you some brain energy, some focus, and some uh, memory boost. It has two more servings than Bravenly's at 30 servings versus 28, and it costs less than a third of a price at $22 versus $75, which means the price per serving is 73 cents versus $2 and 68 cents. The next product is Bravenly Calm. It is advertised as a product that is supposed to fight stress and improve your mental clarity and your mood. And this is based on the ingredients that they used, which are supposed to have those calming anti-stress effects like ashwagandha and the astragalus root. For this one, I'm only presenting one alternative and it is from a company called Adaptogen because it has the exact same ingredients down to the grammage and the number of servings, but the price is $20 versus $50. Then we have an outlier because this is, I think, the only product that is not something you consume or you eat. It's something that you put on your body and that is Bravenly Relief. It advertises as a soothing cream to relieve some pain, which is essentially an icy hot topical cream. Now to keep it fair, I tried to find a product that would have the same active and inactive ingredients because a lot of these topical products that are supposed to give you like 
like some muscle ache relief or some back pain relief have the same active ingredients like menthol or camphor or um, methyl salicylate but they differ in the inactive ingredients so i tried to find one that had the same active and inactive ingredients and uh, i couldn't find one that was exactly the same but i found this one by this company called title which has almost exactly the same ingredients with the differences that i'm marking on the screen it has three ounces versus 3.5 ounces so it has half an ounce less than raven Lee's product but it cost one third of the price at twenty dollars versus sixty two dollars and fifty cents the second alternative that i found is one that advertises to have the same benefits of muscle ache relief and pain relief but it's supposed to have more natural ingredients so i thought i would just mention it it also comes in with three ounces instead of three and a half ounces but it costs thirteen dollars versus sixty two dollars and fifty cents and the next product is bravenly glow girl it advertises as vitamin pack gummies that help boost healthy glowing skin hair and nails they claim they have an advanced new formula but they did not have a nutritional label i couldn't find one on the website i couldn't find one on google i tried to find it on their facebook and i couldn't find one either So what I focused on is finding one product that has the same ingredients. And I found one by this company called Pink Stork. It has 20 calories, is the same serving size. It has exactly the same ingredients down to Brave and Lee's uniquely formulated collagen booster blend. It comes in with the same 30 servings, but it costs $19 versus $55. Hi, this is me from the future. I'm editing this video right now. I realized that there is now a new product and that is called Brave and Lee Bliss. Oh shit, I forgot about Bravely Bliss. What the fuck is that? Fuck. Uh. This product was not on the list when I was looking at this stuff. So the comparison is going to be right here. It's called Bravely Bliss. It advertises as a natural, luxurious, vegan, and cruelty-free body polish. Essentially a scrub that is supposed to leave your skin glowing and soft and smooth. And the alternative that I found is this exfoliating coconut oil scrub by a company called The Midwest Sea Salt Company. And it comes with the same ingredients as Bravely Bliss minus the essential oil blend. But it does give you an option to customize your order with an essential oil of your choice on their website. And not only is it less expensive at $38.11 versus Bravely's $47, but it comes with a whopping 128 ounces versus Bravenly's 16 ounces. And the last Bravenly product on the list is Bravenly Drive. It uses a lot of words to say that it increases your libido or your sex drive, but what I thought was funny was this. It says, our hope is that with daily usage over time, you will see an increased vigor for your life. We don't know that this will do anything, but we're hoping that you'll buy it, take it for a long time, and something will happen. Now with this objective of increasing your libido and your sex drive, you can imagine that there are a lot of products out there with very dubious claims. So what I focused on was finding an alternative that had, again, the same or similar ingredients. One alternative product is from a company called Dr. Formulas. Probably not the most confidence inspiring name. It has almost exactly the same ingredients and it has the same 30 servings, but it comes in at $25 versus $44. The second alternative is from a company called Nature's Crafts. It has the exact same ingredients, the same 30 servings, but it comes in for less than $10 versus $44. So we looked at nine Bravenly products, their buzzy terms and hyped up descriptions. And I provided you with a little bit more than twice as many alternatives that advertise the same or similar benefits that had the same or similar ingredients ingredients and for a fraction of the cost. And these were not the only alternatives. There's more out there. I just picked one or two to prove a point. Again, I am by no means suggesting that you go out there and buy any of these products. You should always talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. But the point that I was trying to make is that not one of these nine products that Bravenly is offering is either new, revolutionary, or even worth the price. Even if you put aside the fact that Bravenly is an MLM, why would you settle for a product that you can find somewhere else with the same benefits at a lower cost? What do you think? If you had to choose which Bravenly product would you buy, and why do you like throwing money away? You know the drill. If you have questions, leave a comment below. If you want to get in touch with me, my email is in the description. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.